Hey, it's Joe Lines from the Automator, and uh, I'm working on my weekly newsletter. It goes out every Thursday. Uh, if you're not signed up, you can go to the Automator slash news and sign up. But uh, I wanted to demonstrate a little bit of, you know, how I've automated the process of writing the newsletter. So one thing I've done here is, uh, let me let me share my screen. As I've mentioned before, I use this HTML-online.com. And, and what I do is I start off in Word. I do everything in Word. So... I write it all out in Word and put in hype, some hyperlinks and, and things. And then I copy that. It's pretty awesome because I can copy this and paste it into here on the left, and it converts it to HTML. Now, I know Word you can save as HTML, but the amount of crap it adds is ridiculous. And so I really don't like using Word to do that. So this has been a really good system for me. However, uh, and, and you can see I did the first one here. When I have these hyperlinks, I don't have a way to build like the thumbnail in Word and have it come through properly. So uh, also that takes a little bit of time. So what I do is I have the hyperlinks here. And then what I do is I come in and let's let's pick the next one. Let's see the hot strings is the next one, right? So hot strings right here. Here is my YouTube uh, URL, right? So this is what I would want. I typically like to put a thumbnail on. So I'm gonna hit my hotkey because I have my script running, which I'll share in a second here. And notice two things. One is you get a thumbnail here, and here it says, hey, yeah, you got it. It's on the clipboard. And so that just just alert for me so I can come in here, wherever I want it, and paste. And now it puts in, it, what it did is it went and got that thumbnail, uh, and then it wrapped it in HTML so I don't have to go and do all that coding myself, right? Um, and also notice I have the, the target equals blank. Um, I have... Uh, the alternate text. So it went and did an API call. And this was a little tricky. So let, let me show the script, which um, you can get on that uh, YouTube um, thumb that uh, I had in the earlier screen. But I'll put it up here anyway. anyway all right. So let's uh, go to studio. So this just forces it to run in 32-bit mode. Uh, it's a function I use just to make sure that it's running in 32-bit mode. Uh, of course, this is my default settings, which has my hotkey to trigger it. And then I blank the clipboard. I send control C and I wait up to two seconds. And then I check it and just say, hey, does does the URL contain U2? Just just to make sure that it's, it's gonna be, as you can see it right here, right? That's an example one. Uh, so if it doesn't have that, I don't wanna do anything, so. Um, then it because every what I need is that unique ID like this part right here but depending on where I copy the URL from it that URL it's not this exact structure because sometimes it's the full YouTube so there's there's just dozens upon dozens of different alternatives so that's why and I did a video on it um, this YouTube video ID which if we jump to it um, this is the regular expression that goes through and parses it and returns back that unique ID, or if you can't figure it out, it says not found, but it gives me that unique ID. So let's jump back. Uh, so, and, and that's what I need, right? And then here, this variable I'm creating, um, oh no, this is the, uh, that's the endpoint on where we're sending my request to the API call to, and then this payload, that was where it was really interesting. I tried just doing it generically and the, uh, the thumbnails weren't coming back and I had to, to mirror used Fiddler to look at my web traffic and see what my browser was doing because when my browser did it, it worked fine. And so uh, I, I basically went in and borrowed from my web, uh, my like Chrome and looking at the traffic and saying, oh, okay, here are the things I have to have in here. And notice this video ID, actually video ID, that's, that's text. Here is where I'm piping in the actual ID. And so... And then what's interesting is actually it's twice. So the watch is there and then the video ID is there. So anyway, that's how you set up the payload. And then I get into my, hey, if, if again, if there's a video ID, go ahead and do this API call. And we're going to go to the endpoint and submit the payload. And then it take, gets the response text and it puts it into the parses it, the, the JSON, it puts it into an auto hotkey object, which then allows me to go and get Hey, here's the title. So I have the title that's available. And then I take the title and I only want the first couple words. And that I just made a decision, right? I could have done three words, but it's just a few words because I want to have that in the alternate text that gets displayed. Um, so that's what this two words here uh, I, I use later. And um, so here's the HTML. So after it comes back, I'm building, this is the HTML that'll be on my clipboard 
when when it's done. So uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty complicated process, uh, and I've I've baby stepped over time. I've been slowly adding to it, and uh, it's now it, it works pretty well. So I'll, I'll give you the the like this is the script you can download from that URL, and. Yeah, if you're doing stuff with, uh, and, and what's awesome too is it doesn't have to be my YouTube video. It could be anybody's YouTube video, and I can get the thumbnail and, and automatically put it in there. And just that way, when people see the newsletter, they have thumbnails, and I don't have to go manually do this, right? So it's every little step you do. Um, I have other ones. I'm going to keep documenting the process of uh, adding how I create the newsletter just because it's there's lots of little things I've been doing uh, over time, and I'm just going to keep documenting, you know, how I save time in that process. And it's just every time I, every week I do it, I add a little more and automate a little bit more of the process. So, uh, anyway, hope you're, hope you're enjoying that. And uh, again, you can subscribe to it if you go to the Automator uh, Let's go here, the, the Automator. <clears throat> and anywhere here on the right, you'll see it's it's in here. You can just sign up right here for the newsletter. And uh, I don't use your email address for anything else other than this newsletter. Cheers.